650 horsepower. That's 110 horsepower more than we have in our Baron. So that extra horsepower comes at a cost. What's the cost? Well, fuel flow for starters. But just because you have the extra horsepower doesn't mean you have to pay the extra penalty. Well, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you find out about videos like this as we discuss the fuel and more. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this. Can't resist to be a little risky and go for it because I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Welcome aboard. It is uh, 32 degrees Celsius outside, which is almost 90 degrees. So uh, let's get this baby cranked. It's not hot. Speak <laughs> to yourself. <laughs> All right, master's on. Make sure red throttle's open. All right, fuel pump on. Make sure close, fuel pump off. Crown Baron 117, Roma Sierra with Echo at base ops, ready to taxi. Baron 7, uh, Roma Sierra, Roger Tax, 5, right turn on Charlie. 5, right turn on Charlie, said Roma Sierra. Alright, HP is good, blue over brown. 3 zero, 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 1, that is. Bet. Uh, it is indicating a turn, that's right, parallel in the green, so it is good, we got plenty of fuel, and engine gauges are parallel and in the green. Production. What is that? This is a backup uh, attitude indicator. What did you just pull? Uh, it's pulled the cage, it basically centers it, gives it a reference for what zero for center is, for level. Uh, Alright, flight controls are free. And correct. Hello, bye bye. Baron 117, Romeo Sierra, page fly, runway heading, runway 5, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, runway 5, clear for takeoff, Romeo Sierra. We are clear for takeoff, we are clear right. Very clear left, we got someone going on the mist. They're going to be turning left to a 310 heading. That's why they have us going. Runway heading of zero five zero, so we don't run into them because we'll catch up to them pretty quick. Reckless is coming in quite in handy. Uh, blocking the light. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my. I see five. Bring the power up to thirty inches. All right, there's my thirty inches. Oh you. Here comes the turbos. My power is set, airspeed is alive, fuel flow. Ready not. Positive. Ooh, I was up a bird. There go. Oh. I delayed that just a second for yeah, the bird. You did. Positive rate, gear up. I did we would have killed him for sure. Oh. I didn't right, even keep I the was... nose low. Get blue line. And then climb. You didn't what? I didn't feel the heavy I was trying to feel the heaviness. Oh well. And because of the bird it Yeah. I'll let you pull back, you would have felt the heaviness. It's oh, definitely I, heavier. I wasn't going to pull. I could have let you pull. No, I don't want to take off in his plane. I don't want... Oh, I wouldn't let go. I'd still be doing it. I just could have let you do it. No. Okay. 400 feet. We're going to 2000 right now. Correct. Runway, Runway heading. Center, Roma Sierra, can I make departure? Oh, departure today, Roma Sierra. All right, it's all you now. Yeah. Runway heading. 600 climbing 2000. All right. Departure Baron 117 Romeo Sierra is at 1.7 climbing 2000 on a runway heading. 
Point Alpha 117 Romeo Sierra, Fort Myers departure, radar contact, turn left heading 020, climb and maintain 10,000. Uh, left 020, 1000 for 10,000 for 7 Romeo Sierra. 22, contact Miami Sierra. So we're currently two, burning seven, 32 two, gallons an hour per side. Ouch. Yeah. That's uh, about eight gallons more an hour than we would be burning. Traffic Air 566, Fort Myers approach. In our barren. That's one of the penalties of uh, having the extra horsepower. Roger, you can expect new weather shortly. I should on the all damn note. I should ease some of that up. Skyhawk 10897, flight 27. Yeah, I was trying to pay attention to it. Climb out 140. Maybe Lima Lima indicated. Contact tower, seeing a few. About 800 feet per minute climb. Kilo contact Miami Center on 132.4. Good day. 132.4. Good day. 177 Tango Kilo. November 117 Romeo Sierra contact Miami Center 127.2. Good day. 27.2. Good day for 7 Romeo Sierra. Miami Baron 117 Romeo Sierra is at 8.2, climbing 10,000. Number 117 Romeo Sierra, Miami Center. Maintain 12,000. What? One two thousand for seven Romeo Sierra. Seven Romeo Sierra. One zero thousand or one four thousand for your final today. One four thousand for seven Romeo Sierra. Number seven Romeo Sierra. Roger. We'll have in a minute to reach somebody. Copy. Number one one seven Romeo Sierra. Correct. Lakeland Lima Alpha Lima. Correct. Genos Juliet India November Oscar Sierra J I N O S. Direct JUT, which is Juliet Uniform Tango Tango Sierra, J U T T S. Direct to the St. Augustine Airport. Lakeland, Genos, JUT, St. Augustine. Maintain 14,000. Center Romeo Sierra, go ahead. Yeah, just out of curiosity, because I, I fly here all the time, if I had picked a lower altitude, would my routing have been any different? Center Romeo Sierra, if you, uh, if you were to request 10,000, uh, Lakeland Direct would have worked. Oh, okay. Well, no, no, I could have stopped at 10,000. Good to know. Correction on number seven, Romeo Sierra. I'm going to have a shorter route for you. Stand by. It's just going to be a one six. Roger that, seven, Romeo Sierra. Yeah, I wish they would tell you that. Right before having to reroute and do all that. The motors are clear and unscheduled. I mean, they're giving you the opportunity to pick your altitude, and maybe you have better winds, this or that, but it's also a better, it's just a little bit more knowledge to know. Roger. Roger. Because you can put that into your decision making, too. Right. Bring us back. We'll go bring the power back to 33 inches of manifold pressure. Where's the map? Just hit flight plan. Number zero, Lima Mike, change my north frequency 127.2. Bring it back to like 2350 RPM. All right, let's go ahead and close our cow flaps. Currently have a ground speed of 195 knots. So let's see what happens when we close our ground, our cow flaps. Now I think before you, before you, uh, we were at 202, I believe. We are at 202. Thank you. That's actually good to So we lost seven knots because we were at a Lena Peak setting. So we gave up seven knots to bring the fuel down to about uh, 32 gallons an hour. And now we've closed our cow flaps. And we've gained that seven knots back. And we're still running the AC, which means we still have a little bit of drag from the unit up top. So we're in level cruise at 14,000 feet. We have a indicated airspeed of 160 knots. Outside air temperature of about 39 degrees Fahrenheit, which equates to about uh, 4 degrees Celsius. And we have a ground speed, we're currently a ground speed of 200 knots. We had 205 a minute ago. The moment's 200. A fuel burn is about 31 gallons an hour. 
at the moment. All right, one seven alpha turn, ten degrees right. So you see, we basically have I'm sorry about that. Error five, one seven alpha turn, ten degrees. The same right. airspeed that we have in our Baron at a lower altitude. GPS fifty five twenty eight heavy with the climate. And we're only burning. Normally we we burn about uh, 14, 14 outside, sides. So we're really only gaining about a gallon to two gallons extra side as we're flying here at Lena Peak at these power settings. So one of the advantages of having the extra horsepower, 650 horsepower, is that if you're not using 650 horsepower, then, then you can take some of the benefits of pulling the power back, going lean, lean a peak, and you're not really losing a whole lot. You mentioned we lost about seven knots when we pulled the power back, when we pulled the mixture back, rather. Uh, so, uh, you know, there's a little bit of trade-off there, but it's, it's that's a small penalty to pay to be at altitude, air conditioned, pressurized. 335 heading to 1651, And that might be one of the reasons why they talked about the Baron being, the P Baron being one of the best Barons ever made. Thank you. Tower 117 Romeo Sierra, descend to maintain 10,000. Descend to 10,000 for 7 Romeo Sierra. All right, one zero, ten thousand set. Number one one at seven Romeo Sierra, flighting three six zero, descend to maintain seven thousand. Three six zero and descend to seven thousand for seven Romeo Sierra. All right, three six zero on the heading, and with the heading bug on, and seven thousand. Sierra, many altitude, maintain 1, 1,000, 11,000. Maintain 11. 11,000 for 7, Romeo Sierra. Alright, 11,000. Okay. I don't know how thick this is, but I think we're going to end up right, right, right at it. Right at it. Sierra, heading 160, lower in 5 miles. Number 970, Sierra, heading 160, lower in 5 miles. Just above freezing. American 1629, Clitoric Mecca, Clitoric Mecca, 9000. So, do ice more likely in, All right, sorry, in that clouds? Was by somebody yes. Else. You can only ice up if you have visual moisture. And uh, clouds are visible moisture. And what if you're inter intermittent? Even with intermittent IMC, uh, it's, there's still a possibility of icing. Just, uh, and again, at the same time as visual moisture, so you can actually see some right. water building up here. But it's, you know, it's just water, it's not ice. This is actually a hot plate, so if we were getting ice, I could turn that on so we could see through that. Um, but I'm also looking on the wings, and there's nothing building up on the wings. Number 970, Sierra, descend to maintain 6,000, contact approach 119.4, good day. Oh, look at that. But you're talking about, but it would be less... Likely. If you're not sitting in it? Yeah. Well, again, it doesn't matter. I mean, the site you could be ice in one little cloud and you hit it, but then you're out of it and then you're not continuing to pick up. Hitting ice isn't the big deal. It's it's continuing to pick up ice. It's accumulation of ice. And there's different levels of ice. There's light rime, which is really not that big of a deal, even if you don't have the uh, ice boots, because even with the ice boots, I can't get rid of light rime. Uh, but anything beyond that obviously becomes a problem. And once you're in icing, Basically, the rule is, is then start getting out of it. Ship blue sixteen fifty one contact tower. Is basically how that is. So you go. So for right now we're in icing. We would say, hey, we're picking up light rhyme, um, and then they would give us. One one seven Romeo Sierra flight heading zero three zero. Zero three zero for seven Romeo Sierra. So if we were in uh, an icing, then we would be looking for a way out. We would be asking for lower or higher. In this case, we would be asking for lower to get out of the clouds. 4,000 feet, experience 213. Well, we have a little IMC flight, I guess. This Turns out to <laughs> be <laughs> an interesting. <laughs> I thought this was going to be interesting view. Like you're like, oh, we we can go back for your bag. We don't. We're not going to hit any weather. I literally thought this was going to be. Well, I mean, it's still an uneventful flight. Right, but this is I like weather. it's going to be clear and un unlimited visibility. It's going to be a boring video, boring flight. It probably won't even be a video. And suddenly, here we are in and out of IMC. Listen, as long as it's not storms, we got this. Not worried about it. I mean, that was smooth. You felt that. 
love smooth IMZ. That was the longest spark that, we, that you and I have flown, have flown IMZ together, though, you too. Is it? Yes. Oh, we left Atlanta. We're in there for a little bit, uh, but we're climbing no, we're out. We're getting up and climbing out of it. Yeah, we're climbing through, so. Southwest 374, turn left heading and 200 back. shortly. 290, yeah. Spearing 213, descend and maintain 1,600, continue left turn heading 050. Approach, Baron 117, Romeo Sierra, 1000, direct San Augustine. Baron 117, Romeo Sierra, daytime approach, altimeter 3006, descend and maintain 5000. 006, 5000, San Romeo Sierra. Navigator 553, turn left, heading 180, join Vector right, 3, with the navigation. And we're going to send it 600 feet per minute. Three and resume. Navigation up here. So we've got, I can see downtown Daytona, and I can see the Speedway. Can you? And the airport, and downtown Vero. <gasps> I see things. I see that people. 733 Tango. I don't know what airport that is. You see Marta? No, F-I-N. Uh, Flagler. Flagler. We flew a Flagler, Mark. Uh, we have I don't a know. video there. We went with your mom. Oh, that's when we stopped in eight. Yep. I don't remember. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll put a link above and a link below so you can go back and watch it since so you I don't remember. remember. Yeah. I remember the food. That was back when I ate fried food. Do you remember? We came in there, we came across, we went over the airport, went, made an enter a left down one, and came in and landed, and then turned left and cat, and then ate right there. I remember all of it. I got the field. See it? Baron 7, Romeo Sierra, descend and maintain 4,000. 4,000, Sam Romeo Sierra. I think so. Three ones over the woods? No, three ones coming from over the water. Water. So we're enter a left down one. Circle around. Yep. Go ahead and put in tower on two seven six two. Bring the power back twenty five inches. Four five one contact Daytona approach one one eight point eight. Start getting a slowed down for for the approach. Kevin Romeo Sierra, do you have the Saint Augustine site? Affirm, Saint Romeo Sierra. Saint Romeo Sierra, clear approach three one contact Saint Augustine Tower one two seven six two. Take care. Visual three one over Tiger Day, Saint Romeo Sierra. Over. Tower Baron 117 Romeo Sierra, visual for 3 1. Baron 117 Romeo Sierra, Santa Jose Tower, proceed direct on my left base, runway 3 1, cleared to land. Left base 3 1, cleared to land, Santa Romeo Sierra. Alright, you're going down. Alright, 500 feet, we are 3 green. Flaps land to go, we are clear to land. Up slaps land. Traffic, 10 o'clock, same altitude, less than one mile. Traffic, 10 o'clock, altitude, right, unavailable, less than one mile. Welcome to St. Augustine. Ground Baron 117 Romeo Sierra, Bravo 2, for a taxi to self service fuel. November 7 Romeo Sierra, San Augustine Ground Taxi, self serve via Bravo and Delta, cross runway 2, hold short runway 6. Bravo and Delta, cross 2, hold short of 6, uh, 7 Romeo Sierra. So we have 82 gallons left out of 190 gallons flying down to Fort Myers and back. We've used 108 gallons round trip. So that's about 54 gallons each way. That is slightly more than we use. I'm usually in the 90 gallon range. The airport is slightly farther south, but not not 10 gallons worth, if I'm being honest. Oh, this air conditioning feels so good. I know I keep saying it, but it's like we're sitting in a car right now. It doesn't feel like we're taxiing in an airplane. It's fantastic. I'm so instinctually grabbing the door. I know, I'm it's like great. ready, I'm like, wait. All right, I don't need to do that. Do I'm letting the hot air in. Well, guys, if you like these videos, be sure to hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. Please comment. We can receive is your subscription to our channel. 
and hit that bell for notification so you find out when new videos are released. The algorithm doesn't always tell you, so you've got to hit that bell. If you don't already follow us, you can follow me on Beach Baron Pilot on all my social media, and you can follow Kim on Flying SIC on Instagram. And Facebook. And Facebook. There you go. See, even I didn't know that. I'm not a Facebook person. Even though I do have Baron Pilot on Facebook. Uh, 97, we're at South Zero. 319 Zero. times 108 gallons. Be the service road, Bravo. Equals Romway money. You all can do the math on that one. You don't need me. Runway 24. All right, guys. Till next time, stay safe. And uh, we'll see you on the next one for the last part of the P. Barron series. Stay tuned. Bye, guys. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more You leave me hanging begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign